In this lecture, I am going to discuss about uh, the EDC main uh, topics or we can say formulas. Generally, uh, what we are getting the regularly in the gate exam, right? So I am topic. I am starting with the first topic that is energy bands in you know, intrinsic and extrinsic silicon. So we need some basic formulas. Uh, from these basic formulas, we will get at least fifty percent of the questions in the gate. So, so first uh, the formula required is thermal voltage. So thermal voltage generally in the all questions we need to use this uh, thermal voltage. So it is generally Q, KT, KT by Q or K bar T by Q. So what is this K is Boltzmann constant. If it is in electron volts per Kelvin, so it is 8.62 into 10 to the power minus 5. If it is in joules per Kelvin, it is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23. Or I can use like directly this type this type of expression also. If I uh, uh, substitute this K bar at this Q, so this is T by eleven thousand six hundred volts. So by using, if we want to find uh, at t equal to zero degree Kelvin, so substitute t equal to zero, so we'll, we will get zero. At three hundred three hundred degree Kelvin, substitute three hundred degree Kelvin, we will get twenty six millivolts approximately, or we can say it is zero point zero two five. 9 etc. 9 volts. So this is the thermal voltage required. In the exam, he may ask uh, what is the thermal voltage at 200 degree Kelvin. So substitute here and then we can find. Now one more, uh, it's a very important one is charge. Charge of electron or charge of a hole. It is fixed that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So for electron, it should be minus for a hole it should be plus right next next topic or next concept here is energy gap so generally if we take any semiconductor metal or uh, insulator there is a conduction band there is a valence band what is this conduction band whenever in this conduction band there is the electrons we can say we can get a conduction of current so if valence band is it will be filled with the holes generally it will be empty the moment it is filled with the electrons, the conduction will start. Right? That is enough for the sake of for formulas. So the gap between this conduction band and valence band is called energy gap. Right? So if this energy gap is very high, so that is not they, they in that condition there is not possible of the conduction. Right? So we are having the semiconductors of germanium silicon. So for germanium and at 0 degree Kelvin, so this energy gap is 0.785 electron volts. For silicon at 0 degree Kelvin, 1.21 electron volt. Similarly, at 300 degree Kelvin, it is 0.72 electron volts. And for silicon, it is 1.1 electron volts. So, so many times in the exam, they asked what is the energy gap at 300 degree Kelvin for silicon or energy gap for a 300 degree Kelvin uh, for germanium etc. Sometimes they may ask uh, if temperature is increasing what, what happens to energy gap. So energy gap is inversely proportional to temperature. right? So if you increase the temperature energy gap will decrease. So for that I need uh, these two, two expressions. If you remember no, uh, you may get suppose find the energy gap of silicon at 300 degree, uh, not to 300, 200 degree Kelvin. So if you use this formula, you can directly get that energy gap. So for silicon, Eg0, that is energy gap at 0 degree Kelvin. So this is 1.21 minus 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 into temperature. If we increase temperature, this value will increase. So Eg0 will suppress from this one. So we will get decreased one. Similarly, for germanium, Eg0 is equal to minus 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 into T electron volts for germanium. So by uh, substituting some temperature value and Eg0 values, so we can get different, different different temperature and different different Eg values. Now, if we see the what is this energy gaps in metal or insulator or semiconductor, so it will look like this. In metal, so we are having so many number of free electrons, right? So many, so that means conduction band and valence band will be overlap. That is, it is ready to conduct, right? 
so examples i can say copper and gold etc so this overlap is in proportional to temperature that is if you increase the temperature this overlap also will increase that means the conduction band will fill with very num high number of electrons if you see the insulator the energy gap is very large so in uh, volt electron volts terms it is greater than 5 electron volts sometimes 6 electron volts right examples we can say air and diamond or we can say the wood wood also now similarly for the semiconductor semiconductor conduction band and valence band will be somewhat uh, the gap will be small right it may be 1 electron volt so we have seen that is 1.1 electron at uh, 300 degree kelvin etc so but at 0 degree kelvin all semiconductors behave as insulated so we have to remember this point also they may ask directly right at 0 degree kelvin what is uh, germanium uh, semiconductor behaves so it's like a insulator only but if we increase the temperature at, at 300 degree kelvin the conduction band this is conduction band and this is valence band so it the conduction band will have here empty but here we will have some electrons in the connection band that means it is start conducting and uh, the moment we are having uh, these electrons here they will uh, it will have the holes how many number of electrons here same number of holes also will be here now examples we can say silicon and germanium this is about some energy gaps next one is a very important uh, the formula electric field inten intensity that is so this is capital E or this is one more notation we can use also right this is not small. there is a difference between epsilon epsilon or what you call that is permittivity this is the different notation like this electric field that is minus dv by dx right or we can say if we take mod dv by dx or directly we can say volt per the length voltage per unit length that is volt per meter always we will get some sometimes we got questions find the electric field if we apply some volts per some length per one centimeter also right <coughs> so this is electric field intensity formula next topic is mobility of charge carriers that is mu so mobility is like how much speed or how much pounds the electron or uh, holes are moving moving right so mu is equal to drift velocity by electric field v drift velocity is electric field mu is mobility so v is equal to mu into electric field so what is this drift is if you apply some electric field right how much force the electron is moving that is is a mobility so we need some uh, you know, standard uh, values for germanium and it will have electron as well as hole mobility silicon electron and hole mobility so it is fixed right sometimes in some books they will follow 3900 1900 1350 480 etc but the variations can possible but we can remember this mu n 3800 centimeter square by volt second so sometimes in the gate they will ask directly what is the germanium electron mobility what is the germanium hole mobility etc so 3800 centimeter square by volt second this units must be remember so they sometimes they may ask um, the in meters per volt second so we, we need to convert so 3800 is first in centimeter square per volt second and for mobility hole mu p 1800 centimeter square by volt second similarly silicon 1300 and 500 but uh, sometimes they ask what is difference depends on the temperature it is inversely proportional to t power mine generally t power m so if it is come the denominator numerator so it will become mu is directly proportional t power minus m that is if you increase the temperature mobility will decrease right and similarly mobility and the electric field or the uh, if you draw the <coughs> graph so mu is so in for a small electric field it will be constant then for large like this it will be inversely proportional to root to e, root e but if you very high fields it is inversely proportional to e so so that we need to remember right so it is some somewhat linear inversely linear but here 
it's like is uh, what do you call parabolic uh, uh, inversely proportional that is if e is uh, increasing or some more so it will de decrease very slow but here it is decreasing very fast so this curve also we need to remember next one is drift velocity how is the relationship between this uh, electric field so this is for ideal case but if we see v is equal to mu e by 1 plus mu e by vs if for high electric fields so one will be neglected so mu e mu e will be cancelled it will become vs so this vs is generally called velocity of saturation similarly this electric field that is volts per centimeter or kilovolts per centimeter if you are increasing the electric field slowly initially it will decreasing uh, increasing with the linear then sublinear then almost getting constant that is called velocity of saturation you have to remember this formula also right <coughs> the next topic is very important topic is einstein relationship right so this is uh, depending on the mobility and thermal voltage and diffusion constant d by mu is equal to vt that is thermal voltage if we relate with the mobile uh, electron so dn by mu n or dp by mu p for holes which is equal to vt again diffusion constant units are centimeter square by second or meter square by second so we can find directly what is the d uh, mobility i mean uh, diffusion constant for electrons for germanium that is mu n into vt we know mu n 3800 centimeter square by volt second and vt is 26 millivolts at 300 degree kelvin so if you substitute and you will get 99 cm square by second and for uh, holes 47 similarly for silicon dn is 34 cm square by second dp 13 cm square by second <coughs> so we have to remember this sometimes in the gate exam they will not mention what is the diffusion constant but we need to sometimes we need to use that diffusion constant so we have to remember 99 47 34 and 13 right in the next video we will see some more uh, formulas which is important for the gate exam right